Okay, so we're gonna have a, a short conversation. We're gonna welcome back Phoenix. Um, thank you for giving us that incredible performance of 12 songs. I was telling them that most of the bands that come here, they usually play five or six songs and you play 12 songs for us, which is unprecedented and amazing. So thank you. Um, so, and you guys deserved it. You were very, very, very lovely. I was watching you sing along and dance along. So it's been four years since Bankrupt and welcome back, by the way. At, um, at the end of Bankrupt, when, when the tour is over and the lights go down and everybody packs up and goes home, do you go your separate ways for a while and say, please don't call me for like a year? <laughs> or do you immediately start writing and thinking of new music? Do we have more mics? <laughs> Guys? Oh yeah, here, go, go up there. Yeah? That one has effects on it, might sound well. No, it's okay? Oh. <laughs> Normal? Normal, okay. Um, no, we, we pretty much lived, I mean, we lived together in the same apartment for, um, I don't know how many years, but many years, but the apartment was, you know, we had two bedroom and we were four and the bedroom was like this stage. So we know each other pretty well. You, and you and, still like each other, which is incredible. And we still like each other. <laughs> I think we did most of the fighting and uh, arguing when we were 14. Good. We got it out of our system. So if there is fighting now, because you don't appear to be a band that has turmoil or like you don't talk to each other and start cursing, but if there is a fight, I bet you it's over something silly like who drank the last beer or, or who left this door open. I, it's something simple, I'm assuming. Um, it's always a detail. It's always a detail. It's ne never something that really matters. But I can't, I can't even remember all the lies. I remember. You do? Tell me, tell me everything. Tell me everything. It was with Deck. <laughs> and it was because his, his synthesizer was too heavy. <laughs> and you got very and, angry? Uh, we got very angry. It, and was, then, it was in San Francisco. And what do you two do? Do you just let them fight? Oh, from, from we from held distance. and we, yeah. didn't, we didn't step in. <laughs> we, we, we left the room. Now, I want to talk to you about something um, a little more serious. A lot has happened in the world since the last album that you gave us and to this one. November 13th, 2015, it was the Paris attacks. And I, I'm not going to ask you if it affected you because obviously you must have been devastated. It was, A, you're a human being and humans were hurt, but also it happened in your home. How... Did that change you and change the music, if, if at all it did? It changed us, of course. But the music, I think it changed uh, it uh, in a kind of negative way. We were looking sp spontaneously for something, uh, a relief, I guess. Mm -hmm. And the music we were creating without really thinking about it was very joyful. So we, I guess we understood pretty quickly it was some kind of antidote, you know, to to what's, what was happening. And we, we thought maybe if it's working for us, it might work for other people as well. Oh, that's lovely. Um, now, of course, there's the Manchester attacks and it's happening at places where, where you guys, you can relate to because you're performing at all these big venues. Is there ever any fear moving forward after these crazy things are happening in our world? Are you scared? I don't no. know. <laughs> Good, that's the right answer. That is no. the right answer. That is the right answer. So, to lighten it up, so in uh, November of 2016, their website started indicating that we might get new music. January, they started announcing dates, and then they just headlined Governor's Ball. Now, this is before putting out new music, new album. Let's talk about headlining. I would feel so much pressure. I would feel like I need to drink before headlining, because that's a lot of responsibility but I feel like you guys dive into that. Do you enjoy the headline slot? Yeah, it is a lot of pressure. It is, because um, that's something, you know, when you play before, you're not the main course, so your <laughs> people don't judge you as much. But when you headline, it's, there's something that has to be almost biblical. You know, there's something that has to be more than just a show. 
it has to you know it's the perfect conditions it's so you have to transcend the moment so yeah it's a lot of uh, of pressure but then uh, in the end it's the best conditions also for us to do a show you know we we have a we have we had an idea for the songs that we built this giant mirror and the screen and the uh, and uh, you can only do that type of thing when you when you headline and when you so at the same time you you know that's it, it's helpful too um, but I'm not I'm they rise we don't to really, the occasion we, yeah we don't really think in terms of headlining or not headlining we just you know every show is as important or as much pressure I can tell look what you did yeah. for us today 12 songs yeah. you guys yeah. so that brings us to today. Today, uh, today you introduce your, your sixth baby into the world. Today we get Ti Amo. Let's talk about why you named the album Ti Amo, which I love, and I'm just gonna say it like I'm Italian, even though I'm Cuban. Ti Amo. Um, let's talk about the new album. Tell me something. Um, we, it took a lot of time to make this record, and we're, all, um, you know, we're really happy that it's finally out. Um, because it was a really long process and now you know we when you make a record it's a selfish process it's just for us I'm trying to impress the three of them oh, they are trying you. to impress and um, but when it's out you face another reality you have to you know and so far when we play the songs live it's really um, it ex it's more than we expected the reaction is, is even better so I think we're going to tour for a while on this record because uh, of the reaction of people and how it seems to be, you know, uh, received. But what else? What else do you so, want to know? So, J Boy, we played J Boy and K Rock today, and it was exciting because um, everybody's reaction so far to the record that's only been out for one day. Everybody's like, it sounds like fun and happiness and Italy and, and la la la. But we played J Boy today, and we got a lot of phone calls. At this point in your career. How do you feel when you hear a Phoenix song on the radio, whether it be old or your new one? It, it's still magical. Yeah, we magical. love that. Yeah. Especially here in LA. I don't know why, but the sound of the radio in a car is, is, <laughs> <laughs> is the, be that's the best thing. That's what we are always thinking about when we are doing, new, doing a record. Really. I read somewhere that on, a, on the Not new lying. album, you use Morse code. Do you guys know what Morse code is? It's this, dee, this dee, 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 dee. <laughs> There's a better way to describe that, it than what uh, I just did. That's yeah, funny. and that's it's, the it's on the record. I'm not going to tell you what song it's on. I'm going to let you kind of take the journey through the record and find it. But what is, at the end of the day, when you think of Ti Amo, uh, what is the one word that comes to mind now that it's out? That's too hard. Uh, one word for Ti Amo? One word. The first one that's in your head right now, even if it's pizza. I don't, uh... <laughs> Pizza is a well, good word. Just started, yeah. <laughs> pizza is a good word. What did you say? He said pizza is a good word. <laughs> pizza. Um, yeah, no, it has to be some silly word because you can't sum up a record. Are you happy at the end of the day? Are you very, very happy? Of the record? With the record, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We are, we are very, I mean, when we finish the record, the four of us in the studio, that's when probably well the happiest because that's you know we keep it for the forest and you know people are gonna hear it eventually and you you have this selfish moment before almost like when you know you're gonna get married and you don't tell anyone yeah. for a few so that's the that's the best feeling and now that it's out it's another kind of you know, it's, it's a, it, kind of yeah, yeah. When it's done, do you guys hug? Do you guys celebrate? Do you drink champagne, or do you go home and go to sleep because you're exhausted? We hug for hours. We hug for hours. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave it on that note. So they're playing the Hollywood Bowl next week. There's a few tickets available. You've done, you've done Thank so you. much for us, and you've been so good to K Rock. So from the bottom of all of our hearts. No, same to you. Merci beaucoup. No, every time you know when we come here, we hear our songs on K Rock. It's um. The loop is, we used to, when we came here for our second record, we, that's the one record we mixed here. And we used to go in the car to hear it mixed, how, how it would sound in a car in LA. So it's sort of a full ci cycle uh, now that we hear the songs that's here. That's awesome, and he loves listening to music in the car in LA, correct? <laughs> 
So thank you again. When I say, when I count to three, we're going to thank them properly in French. We're going to say merci beaucoup. One, two, three. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Phoenix. <laughs>